Let's cover the various options for panning, zooming and rotating in Affinity Designer. Let's start with panning first. So by default we have the Move tool selected, but if we select the View tool instead, we can then click drag on the canvas to pan. Now, if you do have another tool selected, like the Move tool or perhaps the Pen tool, you can hold down Spacebar as a keyboard modifier to temporarily switch to the View tool and pan your canvas. Then when you release the Spacebar, it switches you back to the current tool. Another option, if you have a middle mouse button, you can click hold the middle mouse button and drag the mouse to pan the canvas. So, when it comes to zooming, we have a few options. Down here we have the zoom tool, and on the context toolbar you can modify the overall zoom, or you can click drag on the canvas, so dragging to the right will zoom in, and dragging to the left will zoom out. And then we also have a keyboard modifier, so on Mac, if you hold down Alt or Option, you can use mouse wheel up to zoom in and mouse wheel down to zoom out. And on Windows, you would hold down Control whilst scrolling the mouse wheel. So we also have zoom shortcuts. Now, let's go to the View menu and Zoom. And here you can see all of our zoom options and the keyboard shortcuts. So again, these will be different on Windows. Typically, you would have Control Plus for Zoom In, for example. So on Mac, I can use Command Plus to Zoom In, Command Minus to Zoom Out, Command 1 to Zoom to 100%, and Command 0 to Fit to Screen. So another option is to use the Navigator panel down here. Again, you can change the overall zoom level, but also you can have saveable viewpoints. So if I click this little icon and enable the advanced options, down here I have my viewpoints. So let's do Command 1 to get to 100%. Click the little cog icon and choose Add. So we've added our first viewpoint. I'll click the cog icon again and choose Rename and just call this 100%. Then let's zoom in to the green eyes here and add a second viewpoint. Once again, I'll rename that and I'll call this green eyes. Then let's move across to the orange eyes here, add a third viewpoint, rename it to orange eyes. And then we can just simply use the combo box here to switch between our different views. Finally then, we can also achieve canvas rotation. Now, if you have a trackpad, you can do this using a two-finger rotation gesture. But if you just have a keyboard and mouse, you can go to view and choose rotate left and rotate right. Okay, so this will gradually rotate the canvas, and to reset the rotation, you can of course just use this option here. And to just speed up your workflow, you can also assign keyboard shortcuts. So, on Mac, if we go to Preferences under the Title menu, or on Windows under the Edit menu, we can access the keyboard shortcuts, then switch across to View, and here you will see we have Rotate Left, Rotate Right, and Reset Rotation. So you can just assign custom keyboard shortcuts to those options if you find yourself using canvas rotation frequently. And there we go, just a quick look at panning, zooming, and rotating your canvas.